Hello everybody, it's Kevin again with another Money Origami video. And in this one, it's not a much of a thing, it's not an animal or a heart or anything, but it's really interesting. This is one that's been around, as far as I can tell, since at least the 1940s. And it's, I'm going to call it the impossible triangle. What it is, is a way to store your money in a small package, if you want to stash some away in your shoe or something like that. Also, it's a prank, and a way to prevent people from getting to your money, I guess. You give somebody one of these, and say, here, open this, they are going to have a heck of a time unfolding this without tearing it. It really fits together, and it is not obvious at all how it goes together. The seams really do fool people. And I'm going to show you how to fold it. It's a nice symmetrical fold, not too complicated, once you know how to do it. I'm going to be a big spender here, and I'm going to use a $5 bill for this to demonstrate it. And at the end, I will also demonstrate how to undo it. Because once you fold this, you may forget yourself and not be able to, seriously, not be able to unfold it. So, we start out with a corner fold, as so many of these things do. And down the other corner. This doesn't have to be too super new and crispy. Don't want it too limp. It's pretty forgiving. I'll few creases already though. And you want to keep it as accurate as you can on this one. In this corner. These are just creases for now. Okay. Folded all four corners down. Now for the next fold, it'll make things easier. Fold this back right at the center of those creases that you just made and make a nice crease there. And back on this one too. Everything's going to be the same on both sides. It's nice and symmetrical. These are my favorite kinds. Okay. And this makes it easier. Now you, you bring these in and make a triangle here, a point at the end. And turn it around, do that same thing. You may notice I've got a couple of my other designs up here in the corners. If you want to check out my other videos you can learn how to make those as well I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing here there we go stubborn little thing sometimes but just take your time and be patient we're not in a hurry okay got the corners folded in Next, got these triangle points. Fold each of those into the center. Over here. Into the center. into the center. Got it? Next, fold this point down to the center, right in between those two triangles that you just folded. 
Let me flatten it down good. Turn it around. And do that same thing. Hold it down between those two triangles. And we're good to go. Hello, Mr. President. Flip it over. Fold these two sides down to the center on this side. Turn it around and do the same thing here. Good to go. Okay, got those, got that. Flip it back to the side with all the triangles on. Fold that one down. Or either one, doesn't matter which way. Fold it down, like that. And you notice we got two triangle shaped tabs here. Tab one and tab two. What we do now is fold this side down and as we're folding it, tuck those corners into those two tabs. You kind of fold it back a little to make this work. Nudge it in there and then once you get it in there nice and snug, flatten it down good. And you have made impossible rectangle. And good luck getting it apart. But Kevin, you say, you promised you would show us how to get it apart. Well, you know, you can try doing it this way and that way, but you really don't want to tear. What's easiest? Take a toothpick or a pencil, any, any kind of pointed thing. A little screwdriver, thin screwdriver. And you can see where there's a gap here. There's the two tabs. Between the two tabs you put this underneath and just bend that back and pop it right out. Like that. And if you wanted to reassemble it after you've popped it out you just slide them back in back in those tabs again. Now you keep doing that over and over and it'll probably get to the point where it'll be harder to slide in. But anyway, that is the impossible tab, or the impossible rectangle rather. Let me open it up for you again. And take your time when you open it up, but once you get that in there, and then just kind of unfold it, and what do you know? They find out that you gave them a $5 bill. So, again, this is Kevin. Thank you for joining me here today. Hope you found this one interesting. I enjoy this one. And uh, if you could like and subscribe my channel, it would really help me out. And I've also got a Patreon. If you'd like to slide me a donation, this money costs money to make. It would really help me out, and I'd really appreciate it. So anyway, thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time.